Range fans, the old mad scientist is back at it. This happens to be probably one of the most windiest days of the year. So probably not a good time to be on the range. Did I say that right? Wait, every day on the range is a great day on the range. Probably not ideal conditions. I think that's the way that should be. You saw that I've been trying to revive the old 224 Valkyrie. I've got a great article coming together on dayattherange.com. Come over there if you want to see some of the loading materials and how I got to this thing and being a late bloomer and adopting 224 Valkyrie. I honestly don't know really that I'm a late bloomer because this thing has been sitting in the back of the, sh in the, back of the safe since about 2017. Well, I found a pretty good load at 50 yards and I just couldn't help myself. It is with the 80.5 grain burgers and reloader 15. It shot wonders, one bug hole at 50 yards. We're gonna try them today at 100 yards and see where we end up. But before we get to testing those groups, because I'm running out of daylight, overcast like you would not believe, windy like you would not believe. I think you can see some of the old protection getting blown down and ripped apart here on the range behind me. I've got some 224 Valkyrie and the 90 grain Sierra Match Kings. You saw me in the previous video do some ladder testing. Well, I'm going a little bit further. I started at 21 grains and I can't give you anything more than that. YouTube will kick me off of this platform. Um, I think we ought to find someplace else to go to if we could, but neither here nor there. That's another topic for another day. I got these 90 grain Sierra Match Kings and I'll give you the load information over at dayattherange.com. I've got the old chronograph set up uh, down range and we're gonna shoot them through the chronograph and collect that ladder material and add to dayattherange.com going scientific with 224 Valkyrie. Go check out that. So here's what we have. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm breezing through it quickly and I apologize for that. But ladder test, 90 grain Sierra Match King and the last three rounds are of the same load. Then I have a load that Big E and I worked up just the other night uh, with 88 grain Hornady's. Using that quick load software, using GRT software, um, and hopefully it comes out right. No ladder test for those, we're just gonna shoot them for group. And then last, the one that we do know shoots really well, at least at 50, I've loaded, uh, what, 25 rounds of those 80 grain burgers that we're going to put down range for group. So that's it. Sorry to rush. Sorry to ramble. But hang in there with me because this is going to be some good shooting footage. I hope. I hope for you, 224, because you were on the way down the road until them fellas over at Big E's Discord server said, hold on, big fella. We can help you save that thing. And that's what this is all about. That's what started this. Let's put some rounds down range. All right, folks, all set up. First five rounds, 90 grain Sierra Match King ladder test. Ladder test, folks. Got the first five rounds in here. Got the chronograph set up. Camera down range. Hope I don't shoot it. 100 yards for the sake of science. Let's get after it, boys. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Here we go. I do have a one inch target down range that I'm gonna take aim at, see where they fall. Oh yeah, and it's reading. By the way, I'm starting with a higher ladder test. That was 2534, 90 grain Sierra Match King. I'm starting with this ladder test because if you noticed before, this thing would not eject. And I'm going to put you on pause because I want to find the first round and the last round. So let me put this on safe and find that brass and show you what the brass looks like. All right, that first piece of brass looks pretty good, ejected pretty well. And again, Hornady brass. Let's put these five down range.
Ah, stay to feed. Hope, oh, nope, I'm a knucklehead, folks. No failure to feed. I ran out of ammo. Let's put four rounds now across. This should be the last. Yeah. Got to keep them in order. Remember, ladder test. So I'm stepping up by two grain increments. And then I got three more that are all loaded the same. Four rounds. All right. Oh yeah, it's reading. Last piece of brass. I got to find that one. I see it right here though. All right, folks, we picked up that last piece of brass. 2,726 feet per second. Uh, on the grouping, we'll see where they ended up. Doesn't look too bad. No swipe on the brass, but we'll get home and look at it underneath the magnifying glass. Now, I have three rounds, last three, loaded at the same, which is the max that me and Big E said there was for this cartridge with Reloader 15 and 90 grain Sierras. Let's go to the top left yellow target. I expected a little bit better velocity there and expected a little bit tighter group. Yeah, the primers are starting to get a little flat there. I expected a little bit tighter group uh, because these are all hand trickled, folks, all hand trickled. There is the chronograph data. Visit dayattherange.com to see all this stuff printed out and to follow us to see if we get success with 224 Valkyrie. Now we're going to move on to the 88 grain Hornady ELDs, but this time in Starline Brass, um, reload of 15, and I'll give you the load again on dayattherange.com. And we'll pick a new target downrange as well to see how these 10 shoot. Be right back. I'm telling you folks, you're going to want to follow this group of mad scientists um, because we're going to take one of these loads and take them out to 800 to 1,000 yards. That's the ultimate challenge. So next up, 88 grain Hornady ELDs on top of Reloader 15 across the chronograph. And we're going to put 10 rounds on the top right target and hopefully get the speeds and feeds. Here we go. 2,400. No, sir. That load is not liked at all, Biggie. Now, it looked like a shotgun pattern, but you know what? We're going to put these loads back down range. And by the way, I did allow the barrel to cool. Good catch, big fella. I did allow the barrel to cool between sessions for about five minutes. Doesn't take that long with how chilly it is out here. So let's get the rest of these rounds loaded up and put across the chronograph. 
Uh, I don't think 0224 is liking this one. Those 90s weren't too bad, though. The 88s, not so much, but let's see. Same target. Not bad, fully functional, ejected all of it, around 2,620 to 40, 2620 to 2640. I'll show it to you over at dayattherange.com. We're going to let this set up cool, and then we're going to take 10 rounds that we know shot one bug hole at 50 yards, 10 rounds of the 80.5 grain burgers Put them in at 100 yards and see how we do. Hang in there, folks. Be right back. All right, folks, I got five rounds, five rounds of these 80.5 grain burgers <clears throat> loaded up in this thing. Move the old chronograph out of the way because I want to get nothing but accuracy. Sometimes that chronograph is there and you think about, oh, am I going to hit this chronograph or not? And I've had this thing for so long, it would be a shame to shoot it because a great friend of mine, uh, and you guys have seen him on the channel, DM, he actually purchased this thing for me. So I'd hate to shoot that thing. And we've had it, I don't know, eight years, maybe going on 10 now. But we've had it for a very long time. Uh, anyways, enough about the chronograph. 80.5 grain burgers. You saw how it shot on the 50-yard line. That one bug hole. Go back and see some of that video. You know what? Screw it. We'll roll in the B footage right here. And you'll see this thing was shooting one bug hole at 50 yards, it was shooting a little low, but it was shooting one bug hole at 50 yards. Now today, as windy as it is, we're gonna try it at 100 yards and see uh, what it comes out like. Here we go. All right. Okay. It was shooting a little low. Going for the one inch target again. That was me. Uh, not too bad. I think I could do better. This win is something else today. I can't blame it on the wind, though. I had one pretty good flyer there that I knew was me. But I got three there touching. We're going to take five more rounds, folks. I think this is the load, quite frankly. Uh, you saw the chronograph speeds. Go over to dayattherange.com again. Yes, I'm going to plug my website, folks, in my own video that I do all by myself. No cameraman, no produ I do it all. I'm the guy in front of the camera, the guy behind the camera, the guy doing audio, the guy doing the shooting. But I tell you what. It is so much fun, so much fun to bring you guys along with me. And the fellows over at Big E's Discord server, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this because I'm having a lot of fun with this 224. And without you, this thing was long gone. And I think right now I'm approaching about 100 rounds through this barrel. I'll count up how many I shot today, get home and look at my logbook. Yep, keep a logbook and uh, see how many rounds are through this barrel. Five more rounds. 80.5 grains. We're going to go back to the same target and see what a 10 round group looks like. All right. Off safe. I think if I do my part, 
If I do my part, those things will shoot. And by the way, folks, you know, a lot of comparisons. You saw it in the article. If you haven't seen the article, go over and read it. A lot of comparison to 224 to the 22 Creedmoor and, and, and some of the others out there. 223, um, that 90 grain bullet, that 80.5 grain freedom pill going down range at that velocity. Federal only stated, hey, one MOA, one MOA. So you know what? If I can hit a 10 inch, 12 inch gong at a thousand yards, you know me, the old Marine in me comes out five times out of five, I'll be pretty, pretty dang on happy and elated about that. But I will tell you, you saw the target folks, Big E, you saw the data, Come over to dayattherange.com and visit me. Thank you for following me, folks. Thank you for getting me up to 12,000 users. Without you, it wouldn't be as fun, quite frankly, because the comments down below, man, some of them are hilarious. Some of them are very offensive. Uh, and because it's my channel, calling me out of my name, I delete them. Don't bother me one bit. Got plenty of old thick skin. And still glad to live in the United States of America. This is Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out, folks.